so nice out. It's almost time to start some spring cleaning. Start with a bucket half filled with water and half filled with micro jig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. The past few years, I've been trying to live a more minimalist life, discarding so many things that I just don't use or no longer need. A few months ago, I read Marie Kondo's book, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, which helped me out a lot. Much of her book is about how we can declutter our thinking in a way that allows us to discard items, whether it's a, an old concert t-shirt that we've been stubbornly hanging on to, or say, an old tool that never gets used because we think it's a family heirloom. It's basically a process of acknowledging that these items did a great job for fulfilling their purposes and can now be discarded or passed on to someone who can use them once again. A little bit of Toy Story in there, I think. One of Marie Kondo's techniques completely changed how I store t-shirts. As you know, I wear t-shirts a lot of the time, but I always stored them in a drawer, one folded on top of another. If you store shirts this way, what happens? You end up wearing the same few shirts over and over, and the ones at the bottom of the drawer get forgotten. They are no longer fulfilling their purpose. The solution Ms. Kondo offers is to store folded clothes on their edges, vertically. I've been doing this for months now, and it is seriously game-changing. I can see every shirt I own and pick out one without having to dig through a pile. However, the problem is that the system works great at the beginning of the week when my drawer is filled with shirts, but t-shirts are so floppy and flimsy that they don't stand up vertically very well on their own and as the week goes by they tend to fall over. My idea is to make a slider, sort of like bookends that will keep the shirts upright. I played around with all kinds of complicated designs but eventually settled on what I think is a simple solution. I'm not sure how well this is going to work or if it's going to work at all. So this video will be a little different. I'll just let you follow me along and let's see how this turns out. Okay, the first thing I had to consider was the odd shape of my drawer. It's got this curved front to it. I don't know if that's really going to be a problem with this insert. If it is, I'll cut the base to the same shape as the bottom. I'm gonna build this all out of inexpensive plywood, at least for now, since this is really more of a prototype. I want this to have a pretty snug fit, but it's a little too tight. It seems like so much of woodworking in any project is about shaving wood down just slightly to get it to fit. Well, that was dumb. I just realized that I intended to make the base out of a thin plywood to save some money and I used my thicker material, but that's okay. I can cut this into two pieces and use it for the middle part. One potential problem could be if these two pieces aren't exactly parallel, the slider might bind. So I'll just cut a temporary spacer to keep these parallel while I attach them. I'm gonna clamp this down just long enough to get it to stay in place so that I can put some screws in through the back. About 10 minutes of clamping time is enough to hold that together. I don't have screws that are small enough, so I'll just tack it in place with my brad nail. Here's where I can use that spacer. Start by cutting it a little bit oversized so I can trim it down to a better fit. 
It's a little bit too big now. I'll see if I can shave it down using my sanders. I'm trying to be careful here. I want this to slide pretty easily, but I don't want it to be loose. Sanding everything with a fine grit sandpaper seems to be helping a lot. All right, time for some proof of concept here. Okay, that seems to work. I think... I think it'll be a little bit easier to slide though if I make this a little bit shorter. I don't think it needs to be that tall and because most of the pressure to slide it over needs to go on this lower part. One thing that was in my plans that I'm going to change is I'm not going to include a side over here. It's not really necessary since I've got the side of the drawer. Oh yeah, that works out great. I think if I apply some paste wax inside that track and on the underside of this, it'll slide a lot easier. So once paste wax has dried for 10 or 15 minutes, you can buff it out. That works out great. Well, I let that wax dry completely overnight. It's nice and smooth and slides real easily. Let's test it out. I want to take just a moment to introduce you to this week's sponsor, Thumbtack. If you're like me, you've probably got a long list of chores around the house you need to get done, especially now that spring is almost here. And while I can tackle the smaller projects myself, for the bigger projects, I just don't have the time or the skills to do them right. So I hire professionals. For instance, I recently chopped down three trees in this area next to my driveway. And our plan is to concrete it in for more parking space. That's where Thumbtack comes in. I just fill out the form on thumbtack.com describing exactly what I need done, the details, dimensions, even posting photos of the area. Then local professionals review my request and put together their own custom quotes with their price estimates, business profiles, verified customer reviews, and personalized messages. Thumbtack is in all 50 states and offers more than 1,100 different services. House cleaning, fitness training, web design, woodworking, pet sitting, legal services, wedding planning, photography. Get started hiring pros to tackle your spring to-do list at thumbtack.com. Well, I gotta say, I'm not only thrilled with how this performs, but also that my concept actually works. This may seem like a silly woodworking project, but like I mentioned at the beginning, storing shirts this way has changed at least one organizational challenge in my life. Now I need to make some more. With some basic woodworking skills, we all have the power to turn our ideas into something real. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with others and take a moment to subscribe to Woodworking for Mere Mortals. And don't forget to ring that little notification bell so you won't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching everybody, I'll see you next week.